This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. In this question, we have geologists looking at two minerals, and they're going to perform two experiments on it. We have um, experiment one, which is the hardness test, and we have experiment two, which is the streak test. And from these two experiments, we're trying to find out what minerals, minerals A and B are. So this question asks us to determine the mineral A. So if we look at this, we look and we see in the two tests, Mineral A, um, we have something about mineral A scratching the plate and the steel file not scratching mineral A, but this doesn't give us any conclusive information. It tells us that mineral A is a certain hardness, but it doesn't lead anywhere conclusive. So we have to not look at experiment one for this problem. Let's just look at experiment two. In experiment two, it, it um, tells us that certain minerals are associated with certain streaks. So let's look at the part about mineral A. So it says mineral A had no streak produced when scraped across the porcelain tile. So let's look at our chart. So we see that there are two things with no streak. We have flint, which is one of our answer choices up here, and we have black mica. So since there are two minerals on the streak chart which produce no streak, there's no way that we can definitively say whether it's flint or black mica. So we, ha we can't have flint as our answer choice because it could still be black mica. Um, we know that labradorite um, also has no streak, so that's also a reason why we can't choose that because it, could, it couldn't definitively just be that one. Magnetite is not good because it's black and we're looking for no streak. So really we're stuck with not um, going with this not able to be determined by the information because we see that we have, we have three minerals that produce no streak, so we can't conclusively say that mineral A is one of them. So choice four is our answer.